Hey guys, this is Teeter Plays now, and today another episode. This is episode thirty of Picks and Sticks. Now, from the time of last episode and this episode, amazing, amazing time lapse that, or not time lapse, but a d AFK session where we got we got like four or five mending books. Okay, I was so excited that I got these mending books. Right after we got the mending books, I had got myself over here. I can't remember if I had fire rockets when I did it. And I sat down it right here and just sat here for a second. I was like, holy cow, we got that much. I'm going to have to record in just a couple of seconds. Then I got up and I went to make myself some food. I came back to the computer and I was dead. So that that happened. Now, this being episode 30, I really want to do something special for you guys. And I don't have much planned. And today, you guys... This, this is probably going to be the last episode of this season of Picks and Sticks. It has been an amazing time playing Picks and Sticks for the over six months that we've been doing it. I never thought we would have been doing this for this long. So far, when I play in with most of the friends, we have never gotten seven months into a Minecraft server and still been doing it. I'm having a blast. This is so far the longest season I have going on my channel, and that is an amazing accomplishment. But everything comes to an end. And now, there was a season one of Picks and Sticks, and there's a season two right now that there's definitely going to be a season three later on. But right now, I'm getting sort of bored of Minecraft because I have these other games that I am playing, such as, well, Empyreon. Ooh, that is like where my heart is set right now. And then I have some games inside of Minecraft that are not survival Minecraft that I have my heart set upon. And that sort of makes it really hard to come back here to play on this when I'd rather be playing somewhere else. And I love playing the game. 100% love playing the game. I'm not saying that I'm giving up on Minecraft, never gonna play it again. No, 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 no. Still gonna have occasional videos on other kinds of Minecraft things. And maybe here in the very seen future, um, Maybe here in 1.12, possibly. I, I don't think it would be that soon. But very soon, Season 3 will start of Picks and Sticks. But right now, today, in Episode 30, I am going to be telling you guys Picks and Sticks is going to be discontinued. But with that, I want to leave you guys off with an amazing tour of the server. And I'm grabbing a couple tools and whatnot because I just recently died, as you all know. But I'm actually not going to be taking survival minecraft out <laughs> and about now we're going to go ahead and hop into the beautiful game mode of spectator but before we do that i do want to sleep just so it's daytime um bed hmm. our bed's up there there's a spider up there that's spooky spooky scary i think we can ender pearl up there though maybe Ooh killed him in one shot. Oh, our bed's not up here. Well, that's a problem. And now we're up here, and well, mm, no bed. Uh, I don't know what we do now. What do we do? What do we do? Where's our bed? We have wool and some wood. Wool and some wood. Alright. Gonna make ourselves up a beautiful bed. This will be the last bed crafted. We are also going to go ahead and look at some of our statistics, because I always love looking at the statistics of the game at the very end of the game. It looks like we have a new Optifine version to get. I'll have to get that here later on. Now that we have slept, let's just go ahead and game mode spectator, and I'm going to take you guys on a whole nother server tour. I feel like we did this recently, but, well, we're doing it again. So I hope you guys are really in the mood for a server tour. And something I'm going to do, you guys might not like it, I'm going to set our FOV to 50. Like, this is for cinematic 
reasons. Uh, this, this actually looks pretty beautiful. Oh, apparently we're moving too fast. Ah, alright. Finally back here. Oh, look at that beautiful finished roof. I did do that. I finished that. I never got to finishing the tower. But, let's go ahead and do a server tour for what I remember as being the first couple of days playing on the server. So, when we first spawned in, we spawned in this very lovely forest right in here, and it was sort of chaotic. We had to navigate through the woods, and eventually we found ourselves to this beautiful, lovely village that is past a couple pigs and whatnot. Right here. Beautiful, lovely village. And I, being the beautiful, amazing person that I am, decided to take this as my house. This was my house for a long time, and we had some good stuff here, too. Not gonna lie. It was... It was a nice house. Very nice house. Looks like we had some silk touch there. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> uh, we had a whole bunch of lovely stuff. Even some stone and all that stuff. This was our house for a good three or so episodes, I do believe. While we gathered resources and played along with all the other people that were playing. And at the time, there weren't a lot of people playing. Then, we came over here and set this beautiful residency up right here. This is our amazing, wonderful tower version 2.0. You guys remember the tower from season 1. It was a beautiful tower. Ooh, going through trees. It was a beautiful tower, though. I loved that tower from season 1. That was probably my favorite part about season 1, and I would truly go back to season 1's world if I could, but actually not now. I would have way back then, though. This was our amazing tower, and then we started working on this unfinished project, but come on, you cannot expect this project to get finished <laughs> in any recent or any good means of time. We had two chests there with a whole bunch of stone, and I was doing a lot of work on this at the start. We had gotten this was basically all amazingly re-terraformed. I had... From this point forth, I just reworked the water that was there. Because it just narrowed out here and sort of stopped, but it... Yeah, it stopped, like, right here. In a little bit of pool. But this this project was pretty cool. Making this boardwalk. I really wanted to add some more to it, but we never actually got around to it. We did, however, get this amazing fish shack that is finished. Ooh, I'm so glad it got finished. This is probably one of the cooler, like, fishing-type builds I've ever made. Well, it's really the only fishing build I've ever made. But it's, it's a fancy build. I'm not going to lie about that. Then we also did a couple sort of um, meaningful projects. Let's just rush down here. We made this double skeleton farm, and I was so pleased when I found both of these skeletons next to each other. I'm pretty sure that someone else on the server had actually found these spawners prior to me finding them as close as they were when I tried to see if they'd work together, and they did, so I was like super, super stoked about it. And I made this double skeleton spawner, and we also have some excess stuff going around. Um, I also, at the time, this, the piston glitch was in place, and you could make these amazingly fun piston elevators that you could just step in. Yeah, that was that was cool. But after doing this, I had worked a little bit in the nether. We never did much in the nether, but we came around over here and made this beautiful iron farm, and actually recently we got quite a lot of iron from it. Let's check and see our final end goal of iron. We have basically seven stacks. That's quite a lot, actually. Like, this iron farm was a beast for sitting there overnight seven stacks that's that's amazing now look at these villagers these villagers were very very fun to play with i love messing with villagers and whatnot Ooh, going through blocks but then i'm pretty sure this is when carp joined us on the server carp was just something special he made a whole bunch of stuff and then left us more or less he just hasn't come back to play Minecraft Survival, and I don't blame him, sometimes it gets boring. 
but he had some pretty cool stuff. Not gonna go in detail about his stuff. Also, down in the description, there will be a link to the world download if you guys want to go explore around. I'm not gonna show everyone else's work, really. Just gonna be showing our own and some of the work that I am like, holy cow, that is beautiful kind of work. Like, like this right here. This thing is so beautiful. Ocean, he outdid himself on this house. He was walking and he had some stuff. I'm not sure what he had all down here or if he had any secret chests. Did he? Did he? Looks like there's a secret button. I wonder what that button does. It actually doesn't do anything. But that's funny. Alright. Well, a secret button that doesn't do much. He also had some chests down here, it seems. Let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, well. 8 bit. He was an amazing builder. He. He is, was, is. I'm pretty sure he still plays quite a lot on the server. And now we come to my path. My path. This was inspired a whole bunch by B00100. I saw him playing on... Oh, I'm not even sure where he was at the time. He was at his snow place. I can't remember the name of it. Looks like the path has a problem. I'll have to fix that. Might fix it in creative mode. Just so that way it's fixed before release. But this path is probably beautiful. I had an idea for it going off this way, but never got around to finishing that up, and also never got around to finishing this. This was a very big idea, very big ambitions I had for that. This is probably the coolest thing I have in this path, though. Besides all of these custom trees, every single tree over here and those two are all custom trees. I basically took out all of the trees that were over here and made them into this custom tree stuff, and it's beautiful. Walking through here, it feels, like, amazing. And then you see that cornfield or wheat field pop up in the view. If that wheat field was, is done, was done, it would look way better. But then we come over here to this part of the path. We got an amazing little shepherd thingy. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> A manger, I think. Maybe. Then we have this beautiful sheep that's just looking there. And then we have this more interesting bridge. I'm... I'm skeptical to this bridge design. I just... I wanted to do this sort of circular bridge to curve it to over here. Wasn't sure how I was gonna do that, and I guess... It works. It works. And we have another very large pillar poking up, sort of telling you where to go, I guess? I don't know, but then this leads off over here, and then I stopped doing the path work and just used some of the tilled or path blocks, I guess you'd call them. Yeah, that's what they're called. And we have our beautiful castle. This castle is amazing. I'm so, so happy about this castle. I'm actually going to be using this castle in an animation coming up on the channel if I ever get around to actually finishing off the animation. It's pretty fancy, and it's part of a collab, the animation is, at least. And we have, ah, uh, we do have a pair of Elytra still, so if I really, really wanted to continue playing, we, we could, but I've been thinking about it recently, and I think we're going to go ahead and let this series go. And, yeah, I know, it's really sad, actually. All of the progress that we've had going for quite some time, this beautiful view, this beautiful view, all of the beautiful views, all gone. I really, I loved this series, though. And trust me, guys, I'm doing it more for your guys. Well, not, we don't have any plans for the future f to take up Fridays. Besides live streams. That's gonna be something coming back. I'm pretty sure I fixed a whole bunch of the internet problems I've been having. And we'll be able to live stream again. And that's going to be amazing. Look at how close these floors are, by the way. <laughs> That's funny. Live streaming, I, I love live streaming. So for you guys that don't usually look at my channel that often and you realize sometimes I live stream, I do. And you guys can join in on the fun. <laughs> but this this place was epic, more or less. Um, yeah. Um, what is, I see this hole right, right, right there. Just an iron block. Beautiful. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing right now. We had a whole bunch of stuff in this. I'm gonna let you guys explore the castle. I'm 
more just gonna show it from the outside. This took up a lot of time. I love this castle thing. And I really... I might come back in Season 2 to this same world. We, we might. I don't know. I'm just not in the inspirational mood to do weekly videos on this. Which is very, very upsetting. I'm just going to press F1 so you don't hear the... Or look at the... See the subtitles for all the things you're hearing. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Right there. That's gonna be the screenshot. I love it. Alright, now we get to go ahead and go back to where we just started from. Now, if you're heading from the castle, it is quite a long distance. You have to trek over the tops of a lot of mountains to get there, and also cross this river, which can usually be really hard. But, after doing all that, right here is the amazing place. You might go ahead and just follow this river down, and then you'd have to cut across right here, actually. And then head up the mountain, and then boom, you're here. Very beautiful process of getting in here. I really liked the progress that we had here, and I think before we end off the whole entire episode, I'm going to set myself into creative mode. Gonna go ahead and put that stuff there, and I know how to build this thing. We just need some quartz slabs, oops. Some quartz blocks. Hold on, where are quote quartz blocks of quartz and some quartz stairs. Alright, I'm also going to change my field of view because that's making me sick now. <laughs> um, boom. Alright, do that. Um, alright. Slab, 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 slab. And then we have stair slab. Mm, yeah, slab, 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 all there. Alright, then block there. And slab. I think that, no, that's supposed to be glass. Both of those are supposed to be glass. Glass. Alright, that is that beautiful thing done. Um... I actually feel like th that's supposed to be blocked, and then... I don't know. Either which way it works, so we'll just have it that way. Ah, yeah, that, that looks fine to me. I'm not going to... F I, I forgot the tutorial, actually, just a little bit. Maybe like that? No. No, that doesn't make sense. Let's just... Let's go ahead and then... Eh, is it like that or like that? I think it looks better like that. Alright, that is that done. <laughs> no more of having to finish off that little thing. Ah, beautiful. But, let's go back. Actually, I'm going to end off the video here. I'm gonna go fix the path, so that way, when you guys download the world, it's not all funky and... There's a couple things that aren't going to be fixed, or everything should be fixed. And all you had to do to get in to there is just walk through the pressure plate. Alright? Why is that floating block there? <laughs> Alright. There's a whole bunch to explore. Also, just so that way you guys know about it, if we go ahead and head from our base, this is, um... Northeast, yeah, I thought it was northeast, but if you guys head northeast, way over there in the distance, we have another iron farm with something next to it, but we also have this huge plains field, which is 8 bits of base, and a couple of his friends' as bases as well. Like, they all came together and had some fun, it also looks like, I'm not even sure what that is, interesting. Hm. Well... 8-Bits place is way over here, if you guys just want to see the cords. There's also a nether portal that you can get to by traveling the nether. That'd probably be pretty easy. I don't think you can go through that. Nope, not in this game mode. Then, just to get back, you could actually follow this amazing path that I decided to make. I'm not... There it is. There's a whole bunch of path blocks that lead you all the way out here if you really want to take the path blocks, which is actually some amazing stuff. It also goes past that part of 8-bit space. It turns into cobblestone here, and then back into stone, and wraps all the way around. I really like the views that we have here. I'm gonna go back into FOV 50, 
and then slow ourselves down just a tiny bit so that way we can get through this area uh, this is probably the cooler of the parts of the path that we have going through all of this natural stuff <laughs> I like this path it then loops all the way around here comes through some trees I'm having trouble remembering exactly where to uh, then over here around up a little bit and then let's see it's just very amazing path shape that I got here I don't know I was going to eventually eventually a long time ago get it finished then it loops to that gravel field we're gonna have another gravel field right there not even gonna worry about that and then it comes all the way to over here where a whole bunch of things I don't even know how that happened but oh well then back to this path right here. This path leads to 8-Bit's place. Alright, so I'm going to end off the video here, and I'm going to fix up this hole and that hole, and we will see you guys in the next whatever it be. I would suggest going to go check out our Imperion series, because that is going to be taking over priority on the channel for the meantime. And if you guys have not hit that like button already and did enjoy the video and this series to let me know you want to see a season 2 soon, go ahead and tell me by clicking the like button. It really does tell me that you guys want to see more. I don't understand why you wouldn't think that it told, you, told me that, because it really, it does. <laughs> the more you guys tell me, the more harm I'll make. But... I think that that is good enough for that. Let's just go ahead and fill this in with some grass, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed, and peace out.